Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel today. So, I just want to welcome the sexy people of YouTube and the sexy people of Rumble for on watching my video today. You are about to experience a fucking masterpiece on the best video on Windows XP in 2024. So, this is a very odd video that I never thought I'd be making, but this is how to stay safe on Windows XP in the year 2024. So, there's only a few reasons why I could think of anyone using Windows XP in 2024. And that is, if you are in a third world country and you don't have access to a stronger computer, you can install Windows 10, Windows 7, or any other operating system on your computer, and you are stuck with Windows XP in the year 2024. That is the only reason I can think that anyone would want to use Windows XP in the year 2024, but this is a guide on how to do it. So let's get started first things first. So to make your life a lot easier, you want to use this ISO right here. So this is the Zone 94 ISO. It is the Windows XP Professional Service Pack 3 x86 Integral Edition. So this ISO comes with almost everything you could ever want. So let me just get to the good part. It comes with RAID updated. It comes with NVMe and USB 3.0 drivers. So you could probably install this on any computer that's came out in the last 20 years, but you probably won't be able to use this on anything that's 2014 or above because you probably won't have drivers for your graphics cards, for the, your Wi-Fi, your LAN. You probably won't have drivers for all those things. So you would want to use something from the year maybe 2010, maybe 2013. Or you could build a PC that is built with Windows XP support in mind. The best graphics card for XP is a 980 Ti. That can work with modified drivers, but you can actually build a pretty decent Windows XP rig, but this is the ISO you want to download. Now, I'm not usually one for for ISOs that have been tweaked with that aren't from the actual disk, like, who aren't from the developer themselves. Like, I would not recommend people to download a ISO for Windows 10 or 11 that isn't from Microsoft. But in this case, we're talking about a 23-year-old operating system. I would recommend this ISO because it has so many things patched that you would have to manually do yourself. You would have to patch APCHI. You would have to integrate NVMe, USB 3.0. This ISO just has everything compacted. And this only works on x86 because the 64-bit version of XP does not work that well. But enough talking about the ISO. Let's get into the spicy stuff. What can and what can't you do on this OS? So let's go over what you can't do. You are not running any game past the year 2013 on this thing. This, uh, this OS is good for retro games and the games of its time. It only has DirectX 10 support, not even DirectX 11. So you're not really going to be running any modern games or any modern programs on this version of XP. But that is not to say you cannot do modern web browsing on this operating system. There's this web browser made. By the same person who made the Windows Vista extended kernel Win32. He made a web browser called Supermium, which is basically just Chrome backported to older versions of Windows. So Supermium goes all the way back to Windows 2000. Yes, you heard that right. You can run this on Windows 2000 and you can browse the web perfectly fine on it. So let's go on over to the Supermium website real quick. So he has been supporting Windows XP for about one year now, I would say. And it is a pretty stable web browser. It runs perfectly fine in Windows XP. So as you can see, this is XP. This is not a skin or anything. This is full Windows XP Service Pack 3. But I would consider this Service Pack 4 from the ISO I'm using because this person has integrated so much into the ISO that I would consider it a whole, other, a whole new Service Pack because you're getting updates all the way up to 2019, by the way, too. It's a huge conception that Windows XP updates were cut off so long ago it's only been four it's only been five years since updates have been fully cut off and updates if your computer is relatively up to date 2019 almost every single security flaw in this os has been kinked out it is very hard to get hacked if you are running a modern firewall on a modern web browser if you're if you still have the same wi-fi infrastructure for like 20 years then maybe but if you've upgraded your Wi-Fi or any like your like your router, your, your Ethernet cables, if you're using relatively modern infrastructure to Wi-Fi, Ethernet, 
anything like that, you're going to be completely fine on older operating systems. You're not just going to get hacked just by using the computer. That's not how computing works. There's a basic thing called a firewall, as I just said, but there's also one that's on the computer level too. So if you go to control panel, not really too familiar with XP. I don't, okay, here we go, Windows Firewall. I knew it was there somewhere. So by default, this ISO does not enable the Windows Firewall, which I think is a huge security risk. So I'd recommend turning the firewall on. That is the first step you can do to staying secure on Windows XP. So we're gonna go into security here. So number one, you wanna have your firewall on, okay? Don't allow any exceptions. So select this when you're connected to the public network on secure services, airports, we're not being notified, or as blocks program. So this should not block anything like, like web browsers or anything like that. But you want to be able to have a, a good secured firewall that is not gonna get breached through. And Windows Firewall will mostly get that part done. So I want to debunk this video that's on the internet too about this guy who connected Windows XP to the internet in the year 2024. A lot of people say, oh, he got malware within within eight, within like 10 minutes of him being connected to the internet. I just want to state that this guy had his firewall turned off, even on the hardware level too. He had his hardware firewall turned off and his internet firewall turned off and he was running Internet Explorer 8. Of If you did that to Windows 10 or Windows 11, you would suffer the same outcome. If you had every single firewall disabled, you're going to get hacked no matter what operating system you're using. That's like tearing all the walls and all the doors to your house down and seeing how long it takes for you to get fucking robbed. I mean, it's not necessarily like Windows XP was given a fair shot. If you watch the video from some ordinary gamers, he tested this theory where he set up a Windows XP virtual machine, opened the Internet Explorer, and waited to see if he got any malware on the system. And he had just the basic firewall search on, and he got no malware. So it is damn near impossible to get malware just from doing nothing. If you get malware on your computer, 99% of the time it is your fault. It is damn near impossible to get hacked by twiddling your thumbs. So anyway, let's look at this web browser right here. So as we can see, a lot of them have been came out. There's been a lot of versions. This web browser has been an ongoing project for the last few years from Win32, but let's go to the actual website. Supermium web browser. Sorry if this video is kind of sloppy. It's very late right now. I just wanted to get this out. This person should have a website. I'm pretty sure Win32 had a website. Where is it at? Okay, well, I guess the website's no more. Maybe switch firmly back to GitHub, but this web browser works fine. I just wanted to give you guys, like, get some information. Up to date, oh, here we go. An up to date Chromium based browser compatible with Windows XP 2003 Vista without the extended kernel, by the way. This will work on stock Windows Vista 7 and 8.0 and 8.1. So, this web browser basically runs on any version of Windows that has came out in the last 30 years or the last 25 years, which is crazy to think about. Would I recommend using Windows 2000? Hell no, but if you're crazy enough, you could. So, Supermium is definitely the best browser I would recommend. Now, one browser I would keep an eye out for, and this is based on Firefox, it is called R3D Fox or Eclipse. There's been a lot of forks of the web browser, but basically, this is a web browser for Windows 7 that, that brings modern Firefox to Windows 7. And, and this person right now is currently trying to develop a version of this for Windows XP. Now, the best thing you you can get to Firefox is MyPal 68. So this is a pretty good web browser. It's based on Firefox 78, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if it will say. Go to help about MyPal for 68. So I would say this is based on Firefox 78. This version of Firefox is around four and a half years old. So you're not necessarily getting up to the like, date version of Firefox with MyPal, but it is a lot more usable than Firefox like, it's a lot more usable. When was the last, ver the last version that supported Firefox? I'm pretty sure it was 48, or that might have been Chrome. Support XP. Okay, so it was 52 XR. So this is based off Firefox 78, and this is based off version 52. So 52.90 came out in 2018, and this was the last version of Firefox to ever support Windows XP. This web browser is based off a 2020 release of Firefox, so you're getting a pretty good Firefox work. A lot of website work. So if you go to 
Reddit, everything works fine. We can go to YouTube.com. Everything on this and didn't even type it in. Okay. So this is a bit buggy. That's one thing I don't like with my pal. It is pretty buggy. It is not the best browser to use now. I would recommend to perm you over my pal any day. But for a while, my pal was the best web browser to use. West best web browser to use. God, I gotta get to bed. But I would recommend to Permium because it is completely stable from every test that I've done. We can go to any website we want. We can go to YouTube. And and the good thing uh, about web browser is too, when you install it, you have an option to enable ungoogled Chromium. So if you take your privacy seriously, which I recommend everyone should be cautious about their privacy now, you could enable ungoogled Chromium and get a private Chrome experience with this. So let's try YouTube Shorts because that's what everyone fucking wants to do. Let's watch Brain Ron. Let's see if that works. Would you love me? Okay, that's a copyright strike. Okay, yeah, I love copyright strikes. So those are two web browsers. You can, I don't know why I closed it. I have four things I have to load. But those are two more things you can use or two web browsers that work perfectly fine on Windows XP. So let's get into some programs that I recommend. And this actually comes with recommended programs. So if you're going to be using this as your day-to-day -day driver, I would imagine you probably want a Office Suite. You can get an up-to-date Office Suite called OpenOffice, which basically has everything Microsoft Office 2010 would have. I would recommend using OpenOffice over something like Office 2007 or Office 2010 because it's more up-to-date. You have more font and and compatibility with a updated version of open office is probably going to be way better than a 12 year old version of microsoft office so you so this works perfectly fine even without any api modding without one core like this could work on a windows xp computer with updates just to 2014 and the and the same thing goes for supermium you do not have to have the pos updates up to 2019 for this to work. Every program that I am listing in this video could work with base updates up to 2014. So let's let that download. And it's probably best practice. Me, myself, I don't necessarily use antivirus because I find it to be a waste of CPU cycles. But if you're using Windows XP, you probably want to be safe as possible. Better be safe than sorry. And I actually do have a lot of good things to say about Pandadome. I feel like they're a very efficient antivirus. From my from my from my experience using Pandadome, I used to run Pandadome on my computer as my main antivirus. It definitely takes up a lot less CPU cycles than something like a vast AVG fucking conspiracy, which is banned now. Thanks to the Joe Biden cheeseburger villain, you can't even fucking download that antivirus that antivirus anymore. So yeah, thanks Joe Biden. You're the best president ever. I love paying twenty six thousand dollars a gallon for gas. Ooh wee, my favorite. And now my dog wants to sound like a grizzly bear. And today's quite the night so far. So let's get Pandadome downloaded just so we can have some sort of baseline security on the system. And I still find it funny that a lot of modern antiviruses still have compatible builds for operating systems like XP and Vista. So let's get that antivirus downloaded. Let's get Apache OpenOffice downloaded. Run. Install. Unpack. So it's not really too hard to survive on Windows XP if you know what you're doing. If you watch a lot of videos on Windows XP, a lot of people fail to mention Supermium, which is like the best web browser you can use on older builds. A lot of people will point to my pal, even New Moon. Like these people are recommending New Moon, which has been discontinued since Drake's son was a sperm cell. I don't know why people still recommend New Moon. Do not use that. It is completely out of date. You can't even load basic sites like YouTube. Like, it is not a good web browser. If it was updated, maybe it would be good, but it's just not that good. The only scenario you would need to run New Moon is you have, if you have like a completely dog shit computer that can't even handle a basic web browser. Like, at that point, if you have to run New Moon as your web browser, your computer probably can't even handle Firefox 52 ESR. Like, that's how lightweight that web browser was built in mind for. So, don't use New Moon. Don't use Firefox 52 ESR. Either use MyPal 68 or Supermium. These are the only two web browsers you should be using. And also, that other web browser I mentioned, RD3D Fox, is in the coming builds. I would imagine the Windows XP support for that web browser would be getting a lot better. So, I would definitely keep my eye on that. If you are a Windows XP user and you don't like Chromium all that much, I would definitely keep my eye. On that web browser because I feel like it's definitely 
going to be a web browser that will be worthwhile because it's based on Firefox. So let's open up op Open Office here. If it loads. Yeah, this virtual machine's slow just because I allocated only two gigs of RAM. So it's going to take a while. And it's on a hard drive too. A 5200 5, RPM hard drive at that. So it's going to take a second to open here. And I'm downloading the antivirus as well. Okay. All right. All right, so we're, so we're getting Panadome up and running. Our office suite ever runs. Oh, here we go. So just, you know, the welcome guide, forename, shit. No, that, that, how did I get a whore? Shit, stain, it's gonna be my name. Initials SS for shit stain, finish. And you can basically do anything with this office suite that you'd want to do with Microsoft Office. So say, for example, if we want to write an essay on why, so I don't even know why, just say you just wanted to type fucking the, the constitution backwards or something like that. You could do that perfectly fine with oh, with Open Office. So we're just going to say, um, cheese. The fucking, this is the autobiography of cheese. I don't know. So we're going to save this. We're gonna save it as a ODT format, which you could save it as a dot doc. That would work, but ODT can be read by any Office suite that's came out in the last 15 years. So head to our file explorer, my documents, document one. This could be read on a lot of computers. So you can do modern web browsing. You can do documents. So basically, if all you wanted was Office work, okay wants email so we'll get that set up later but if you just wanted to do office work on windows xp you could easily do that with a up-to-date web browser like supremium or my pal it's very easy to use windows xp in 2024 you just got to know what to download and who to get your advice from now would i recommend using windows xp 2024 coming from a windows 7 user i would not recommend using windows xp because there are more flaws that are in XP, and not to mention, this isn't necessarily that big of a deal like a, like a lot of people think, but Windows XP's source code has been completely leaked, so any exploits that came out when that source code came out are still an issue and have not been patched. But that kind of goes for the whole NT kernel as a whole, because Windows XP is still the same fundamentally as Windows 11. You still have the same file directories, the same processes, it is literally the same operating system, but they just built on it over time. So Windows XP's source code getting leaked probably accumulated to some of the bugs that got exploited in Windows 11. It's crazy to think about that. Microsoft did not change the fundamentals of the NT kernel over time. That could really be a huge security risk, but you know, I'm just kind of laughing. So you don't need a uh, email for it. So with this, you can do a, a full scan. You can do critical areas and you have full-time protection so I'm not gonna try to download any malware on this because you know I just don't wanna get this virtual machine damaged but you have full-time protection now you have a firewall enabled you have updates up to 2019 and you're able to browse the web perfectly fine so I would also recommend getting the one core API but I'm just going to be completely honest. You're better off just using Supermium as your web browser and calling it a day because one core API can get the latest version of Chrome up and running, but it's very buggy and very unstable. Well, Supermium, on the other hand, works perfectly fine through all those flaws. So in conclusion, you can do modern office work. You can use a printer. If you have a printer that still supports Windows XP or supported Windows XP, you can connect that printer. You can do office work. You can do emails. You could basically, for like 90% of people, if they had it configured, Windows XP could still be perfectly usable in the year 2024. Now, I would advise against it, but if you really wanted to, you could definitely use this operating system as your daily driver in 2024 if you want to take that risk. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.